Steel just dropped their new mowers and are demoing them for the very first time today. So what we're gonna go do is test their top of the line, fully loaded, largest deck, largest engine mower. It's called the RZ972KI. There's also a lot of talk going around that this is just a repainted Ferris. We're gonna get to the bottom of that. There's so many different types of zero turns out there, so many incredible brands already. So what is gonna set this steel apart from all the others? We're excited to take a look at some of these different features. Let's go. Top three features of any zero turn mower is the quality of the deck and the engine choice. Correct. And for this machine, what sets it apart is the suspension. The suspension's connected to the deck. Yeah. So as the suspension goes over the bumps, the deck is gonna follow the, the contours of the yard. This is their top of the line zero turn. You can opt for a 61 inch or 72 inch cutting width and it runs around 18 grand with a Vanguard or Kawasaki EFI engine. This is a little less than I was expecting for a steel to be honest. This is the entry level commercial zero turn and it's gonna set you back around 10 grand, which is not really that bad for the quality that you're getting here. This thing's pretty nice and would be a great option for anyone who's moving up from a residential zero turn. Look, we can all agree that admin sucks. So what if I told you I could reduce your admin workload by over 75%? You don't wanna do it, right? Well, that's exactly what Check does. Go download the Check app today to dramatically decrease the amount of time you're spending on admin. Some of my thoughts on this one right here, the 500 series, I'm assuming we have a 500, a 700, a 900 series. I demoed the 900 series first, so maybe I should have started with this one. But I will say, for someone who is starting out and looking for a commercial grade mower, um, not necessarily all the bells and whistles, not the biggest motor, maybe not the biggest set, like this is still an incredible machine. I actually am a fan of this throttle lever instead of having the button because I actually see where, where I'm at. So we've got the push mowers in the battery area, but now we have gas, we have battery, we have electric, and now, now that we have these ride-on mowers, we're offering those customers a complete solution. Yeah, that's great. And the fact is we're still only selling and retailing through our dealers. Mm -hmm. So you're not gonna find us at Lowe's, you're not gonna find us at Home Depot. And people say, well, why do you do that? It's not convenient. Well, yeah, but as your guys know, right? You go to a dealer, a reputable dealer, who will give you the good advice, get you set up, get you the service after the sale, because I don't care how good a piece of equipment is, it's gonna need service at some point, right? Yeah, yeah. And you build that relationship with that local business, and then when you add on the ability now to take on, for instance, there, we're gonna have a financing option for these units, these ride-on mowers, but you can add your handheld. That's cool. So for a business that's just starting out, to be able to go in and go, do I need a ride-on mower, a walk-behind mower? Later on, we'll have stand-ons. Do you need battery? Do you need gas-powered? We've got it. Yeah. So what we're trying to do, again, we're trying to offer the broadest range of equipment at all the different levels, whether it's a price point or if you're looking for quality or if you're looking for power source. We want to offer those guys, your guys yeah. who are starting out, the total solutions. All right, we just came in from demoing the first line of commercial steel zero turn mowers. And the one that I'm standing in front of right now is one of the 500 series. That is the lowest grade of the commercial mowers. And the reason why I'm standing in front of this one is because if someone who is just starting out or someone who is has been in business for a couple of years is starting to look for a mower, this is the one that I would recommend to you for a few reasons. Okay, number one is gonna be the price point. It starts at around 10 grand. Brand. It starts with a 52 inch deck. I'm a big fan of that setup right there. That's an, that's an incredible setup for a, like a beginning commercial grade mower. Another one of my favorite features is that the deck is actually tied in with this front suspension. I'm a big fan of this because that allows the deck to move with the contour uh, of the terrain that you're, uh, that you're cutting. Another thing that I thought was really interesting was their new financing option. Now, a lot of people will say don't finance, but it's worth knowing that they're rolling out this new financing option where you can get a new mower and you can also get string trimmers, blowers, everything all in one, 0% for 36 months. I think that's a pretty solid option. The last thing that I, that I wanna say about why I think this would be a solid option 
for someone uh, who is on the, on the newer side of things is that Steel has one of the largest dealer networks in America. I don't think that can be discounted because one of the biggest things that we preach whenever it comes to picking out a mower is making sure that that mower can be serviced close to you. If something breaks on your mower or any of your equipment, you got to get that fixed fast so that you minimize how much it interrupts your schedule. At a glance, I'm pretty impressed, especially from the standpoint of someone who's uh, maybe a solo operator or a single truck operator. I will say that uh, that 900 series that kind of is around $18,000, that was like kind of a Cadillac. It was pretty cool. And even for what it was, like the 72 inch deck, uh, that I that I test drove, it was incredible. It was really cool. So I highly recommend if you have a steel dealer around you and you can demo one, go do it uh, and and let me know what you think. Those are my thoughts on the initial thoughts on the steel commercial mowers. I've never ran a Ferris, so we came to see for ourselves. We said we want to demo the biggest, baddest top of the line Ferris that they have here. They have a 3300 that's inside. This is the 2200 with a 60 inch deck. So we just came out to take a look. Now at first glance, it looks very much like uh, the steel that I demoed yesterday. It looks like it still has some of the same suspension uh, floating with same uh, suspension seat, the same parking, like parking brake release, the same foot, the same thing that drops the deck, same, uh, let's see, quarter increments. I'm not seeing the, the, the like button that you press for the throttle. Um, I actually prefer the lever, but I saw that on some of them. Dual tanks, that's the same. But whenever I asked somebody, and maybe uh, I think that a lot of people who had ran Ferris actually knew about, uh, knew about how the deck floated with the suspension, and that's why I said, hey, it's just a Ferris. But when I asked the rep, I said, hey, so does the deck float with uh, with the suspension and he didn't he didn't really know so we'll have to fact check him on that the seats just as comfortable Honestly right now. I'm thinking that it's a different paint job. I pay a lot of attention to detail one really weird uh, Thing that is the exact same is that this hour meter Has to be read from this side. I'm looking at it and it's upside down. It was the same on the steel yesterday I thought it was an accident Coincidence, I think not Let's uh Let's get it going Okay, so right now, every single one of these controls is the same. I'm actually gonna drop this down a little bit. That's the exact same as the steel. It's the same thing, guys, uh, from, like at a, at a glance, okay? I'm not talking about specs, but let's get it. Okay. Now this is, uh, this is a smaller deck than the one that I demoed yesterday. The steel, I think, gave me a little bit smoother of a ride. So we're gonna actually go dig and do some, do a little bit of research, maybe compare some of these specs. But at first glance, this is the same mower. I can't say that it was much different from the feel of that steel, but I did think that the steel had a little bit smoother of a ride. The only variable that has changed is that this is not their top of the line mower. This is their 2200, not the 3300. I would assume that the 3300 with a little bit wider of wheelbase uh, might be a little more smooth than, than this one. So I don't know that we get the exact apples to apples comparison that we were looking for. This was a fun demo and we covered a lot, but I want to address the biggest question that everyone has about these steel mowers. Are they just repainted Ferris mowers? Now, whenever I spent time outside at the Ferris demo area, I straight up asked one of their reps if the new steel mowers are just repainted Ferris's, and they gave some good insight. They said that both brands were manufactured in the same Briggs & Stratton factory, but that Steel's agreement with Briggs & Stratton allowed them to spec it out with a few extra bells and whistles, like the USB charger and the lights. There are some other cosmetic changes that I noticed, but overall, it's not hard to see that Briggs & Stratton didn't change anything that they didn't have to from the Ferris brand, which they own. So when people say that the new steel mowers are just repainted Ferris's, they're not necessarily wrong, but I don't think that's a bad thing. In my opinion, that's an extremely positive thing, and here's why. It means that we're getting a more fine-tuned, battle-tested mower rather than steel's first iteration on a very expensive piece of equipment. Plus, I don't think that steel would have partnered with Briggs & Stratton 
had they not trusted the quality of Ferris mowers. Now, the Ferris mowers are already priced competitively, and there's been a lot of concern that if Steel released a zero-turn mower, that it would be priced ridiculously high. But the Steels are actually priced the same as the Ferris's and in line with other comparable machines. Okay, also, we've always said that what makes a great mower is great dealer support. And there are a lot of people in the industry who say the same thing. In general, steel dealers have solid reputations backed up by pretty solid products. And not to mention, they have one of the largest dealer networks in the nation. So steel is going to be providing 100% of the dealer support, bumper to bumper, if you will, on this new mower for the, uh, for the mower, unless you go with that Kawasaki engine. So you have the possibility for the first time ever to have your entire setup covered by one brand. And I think that's kind of cool. So if you like your steel dealership and you're looking to upgrade your zero turn, maybe you should consider these, especially since you don't have to pull them to start them.